Crowding can make or break your tile job. After 30 years, I feel like I've been to the moon and back crowding tile. Let me show you how to get a great looking tile job without any disasters. The joints between these 12 by 12 tiles are one quarter of an inch wide, so we're using standard sanded Portland based grout. If you have smaller joints or soft stone like marble, you'll want to use unsanded grout. So let's get our equipment together. You'll need a couple of pails, one for mixing grout, the other for wash water, a grout sponge, something to stir with. I use a margin trowel like this for small jobs and a drill and mixer if I'm doing a large floor, a grout float, and a microfiber cloth for final polishing. Don't forget safety gear, rubber gloves, glasses, a dust mask. Determine the amount of grout to use by using the coverage chart on the bag of grout. For this tub area, I'll need about a third of a bag. Pour the grout in the pail and then add water, a bit at a time, mixing with the trowel until you get the right consistency. The grout should be smooth and almost stick to the trowel. Then let it sit for 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, mix the grout again. Don't add water to make it looser. This will only weaken the final grout strength. Scoop a bit of the grout out of the bucket and press it into the joints. Work diagonally both directions to be certain the joints are full. To finish each section, Run the float along the length of the joint with one long, clean pass to pre-shape the joint. Now wait for the grout to set up a bit. Depending on the type of tile, this takes around 30 minutes. When the grout gets stiff in the joint and doesn't transfer to your finger, it's time to shape the joint with a damp sponge. Work the surface of a two foot by three foot area to loosen the grout haze and to even out the joint. This process only needs medium pressure on the sponge Enough to shape the joint, no more. Clean the sponge when it's filled with grout, but don't worry about leaving a hazy film on the tile. Now's the time to clean out the grout along the tub line and in the corners, places you'll caulk later. The grout will firm up once again, and in less time. Once it's hard enough not to dent to the touch, the actual cleanup begins. We've got clean water and a clean sponge. Wet and wring out the sponge, and work the tile surface with the sponge, loosening the dry grout haze. Rinse and wring out the sponge again. Lay it flat on the tile surface and pull it slowly at a diagonal across the joints for a couple of feet. Flip it over and repeat. When the grout dries, there will be a bit of haze left. Buff it off with a dampened microfiber cloth, followed by a dry one. You can caulk the corners and along the tub the next day but you may need to wait a few days to seal the grout, depending on the sealer you've chosen. These tips will get you smooth, solid, clean-looking grout joints and put a great finishing touch on your tile job.